So you can pretty much get an unlimited amount of artifacts in Dying Light 2 for absolutely free and a ton of old world money thanks to a few methods that will likely be gone very soon. I'm going to show you everything you need to know in this video and by the time you're done, chances are that you'll rock a full artifact character like this one. Also a sub to the channel would help me a ton so let's begin. Let's begin with a pretty interesting GRE crate that I kind of looted I think over 20 times so far and it still completely respawns every single time. It's this one located by the metro in the downtown area and specifically you need to unlock the metro in the first place since that will also give you access to teleportation to this specific area. And the advantage with this GRE crate is the fact that it's located right at the entrance which means that you're going to immediately stumble upon it every single time you load in this area. What's cool about this is that I think I must have looted this over 20 times already and it still spawns loot to this day. It was before the game even came out that I discovered this and it still works to this day like a couple of days after release. Of course the quality of the items inside will vary but it's typically epic and above guaranteed with a slight chance to also get an artifact level as well. Of course you don't get the inhibitor but you get the other advantages including the military pack right here that is literally the best healing method in the game that will give you full HP and also faster than any bandage can even fully upgraded. So definitely go ahead and do this before it gets nerfed. The only thing you need to know is that it takes about like 20 minutes to 30 minutes at most to fully replenish so it's not like you can spam it back to back. But you can combine it with some of the other methods which brings us to the other types of crates that also respawn which are the military supply drops and these are marked on the map and typically found on the taller buildings. Now the loot inside with the exception of that inhibitor absolutely completely respawns including the two epics or above quality gear and consumable items but also the army heal pack and the military tech and the most important here is the military tech because this is basically what you need to upgrade your paraglider, your grappling hook, your UV flashlight and you need quite a few of these which means the more you get for free the better it is for you on the long term. So there's definitely a good method to farm these quite early on especially since it starts an old villa door and specifically there's a couple of locations already in the first part of the districts and of course you can just like go on to the first rooftop grab the first one and then just use your glider to go onto the next rooftop and so on and so forth until you get at least a few of these. Now again the respawn timer over here is really short less than 30 minutes even less than the GRE crates and can be spammed back to back for a ton of those military tech pieces. By the way speaking of that military tech as soon as you get about 9 pieces or whatever you get to reach level 3 with a paraglider definitely make sure you go ahead and fully upgrade that first simply because at max level it's going to give you the possibility to boost your character up which means it's even easier for you to reach some of the higher up places and keep your momentum when flying or while gliding up into the air. It's also very beneficial if you used some of the previous farming methods to get the inhibitors and get enough stamina to stay as much in the air as possible. But moving on to number three let's talk about possibly the most broken way right now of getting artifact weapons and we talked about a free artifact weapon location right here in Houndfield earlier and a lot of you actually pointed out that this particular weapon and a few more can completely respawn in a very short amount of time. Well guess what? All artifact weapons inside similar like military facilities that happen to be outside of loot boxes will respawn after about 10 to 15 minutes at most. There's another similar location to the convoy that we talked about earlier today in the Trinity section of the first part of the map essentially there's gonna be the convoy but on the other side of the wall you also get this military facility and inside of it you can again get a yeah really cool artifact weapon random of course and some other bunch of items inside now for me personally the one in the trinity location did not spawn anymore and i suspect the reason for that is because i got it very early in the game at level one it was pretty much the first location i was far in. So my suggestion is to maybe avoid these locations at least until level 2 or rank 2 which shouldn't take too long to reach. There's other locations though so I will give a huge shout out to you guys and of course Gamers Heroes on YouTube for pointing
checking these out but one of them is right here in the downtown area right next to the main road there's also like a convoy nearby but what you want to do is to go next to this building because right below you you will notice there's another one of these artifact facilities opening it up with a GRE key will again give you access to an artifact weapon and two epic crates and there's also a couple of them in the new dawn district but literally every single area that might contain a convoy should be an area of interest for you because there's a high chance you might find one of these military locations nearby there's one in new dawn right here on this side of the map again a military convoy nearby that also has some poison spill going on so you definitely want to stay far from that but it provides some cool rewards inside just like the previous ones yeah you can totally farm these back to back maybe even make a route with all of these locations and by the time you're finished with the last one in the sequence you can go ahead to the first one and by then it should already start spawning that weapon again now the artifact weapons will obviously be random the only thing that's set in stone is its location and of course the fact that it's maximum quality so definitely go ahead and do this because i can't see it lasting longer than a few days but fingers crossed nonetheless and this brings us to finally the last method on the list which will also cost a bit of money to say the least but this is going to be back at the bazaar again in the old Velador region and specifically the gear vendor over here will always restock its loot and guess what that includes artifact quality too and the cool thing about this is that it completely replenishes its stock by simply advancing time there's a bed right upstairs that you can immediately go ahead and use to advance the time and then go back at the vendor rinse and repeat and he will restock and replenish that every single time now typically you'll find at least one guaranteed artifact weapon sometimes even two and there's also a pretty good chance for an artifact gear piece to also spawn sometimes even two but these are a little bit more rare so you have to do a few refreshes before you see that stock coming and going it's going to be quite costly though so that's your disclaimer at rank 6 it cost me almost 17,000 old world money to buy one gear piece and almost 5,000 to buy one of these weapons but if you use the previous methods and also the ones shown in the video before you're gonna have more than enough money to afford most of these things if you're doing it properly this is it though thank you so much for watching as always if you enjoyed this video at any point a like on the channel would be super appreciated maybe even consider subscribing or don't it's your option thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one